Hey guys, um, it's Mercedes. I know this is like super last minute. Uh, I appreciate you being here and those of you who watch it recorded later. I, it's like midnight and I was just made aware of this really kind of important um, youth caring fund. I was contacted on Facebook by someone named Angela Patterson and she made me aware that her fiance who's a vet uh, who has PTSD uh, was, he tried to kill himself. Uh, the story, she says it here, she says, Brandon, like many veterans coming home, had a very hard time adjusting back to civilian life. And his story is not unlike many. Uh, December 6, 2014, Brandon made the decision to end his life. He was, praise God, unsuccessful in his attempt. However, Brandon had other consequences to deal with after the attempt because he was drinking when the attempt was made and purposefully drove himself off a cliff. And he made it out alive after being airlifted to the hospital and he was charged with aggravated DUI and criminal damage, a mandatory prison sentence in the state of Arizona. Um, since the accident, Brandon has made a complete turnaround. He completed a treatment program for PTSD and alcohol through the VA where he was a liaison and peer mentor helping other vets. Uh, so he's, he's really, I mean, I don't understand cases like this. I understand that there are mandatory sentences for DUIs, but I think that some of the laws really need to be changed when we talk about um, veterans in particular, especially PTSD issues. I mean, a two-year prison sentence seems like it, it just, the penalty on that, um, seems like it would do more damage, to be honest, mm -hmm. than the uh, than maybe putting someone in, in mental care. So anyway, I'm, I'm putting this out here. Um, I hope I'm going to put the link to the You Caring Fund. I'm hoping that we can get a little bit more press on this because, and, and really, um, she she's not asking for a lot. I mean, they're, they have a $5,000 goal. I think that's just such a <laughs> such a low amount considering what they went through. So, uh, if you can share the you caring fund, I I don't know what else to do. I just wanted to throw this on stream because maybe this will uh, end up you know hitting some people. And it just it also just really upset me. It really bothers me that in this country we seem to have all the money in the world for all kinds of stupid fucking things. Like, let's have SJW education classes on like 15 genders. Let's have like kumbaya courses on rainbow colored talking sticks and bullshit like that. But we can't, <laughs> we can't look at this with a practical eye. Say the guy almost killed himself. He threw himself off a fucking cliff. I, you know, he's got a family. He's got children. So let's penalize him and his family. Let's take him out of society for two years and penalize his kids over a mistake he made that I'm sure he's very, very sorry about. But hey, no, we have, we have plenty of money for stupid bullshit SJWE classes, but we can't help this one person. And, and I think he's, he's proven that he's turned his life around. So this is actually just infuriating. And it's part of the reason I got on stream right now. Um, because it's it's incredible that we live in a world and and don't we have some sort of common sense law in place i mean if <laughs> the, the crazy thing to me is that if this veteran had been like some sort of like sjwe like protected class of people they would never put him in prison but because he doesn't have any of that progressive stack now they're gonna they want to throw his ass in jail for something that was clearly a mistake and it seems like he's got a lot to live for. I, I, it's just infuriating. So um, this is more of an announcement than it is a stream. I would love it if you guys would tweet that link out. And no, no kind like no veteran should want for anything, but especially like really basic health mental care and. I, penalizing suicides, I mean, 
criminalizing suicide attempts is stupid anyway, but especially somebody who just came back from a fucking war zone. The guy already pledged six, eight, 12 years of his life, whatever, to the military, but he makes one mistake. Let's throw him in fucking prison for two years. Are you kidding me? Like, what, is, what the hell is wrong with the world? I mean, this guy should be commended. Look, he's like, somebody said that the real number of veteran suicides per day is like 58. Um, but the verified number is 22. 22 suicides a fucking day. I mean, really sit with that. That's, that's unbelievably high. And then this person, thanks be to whatever, I'm an atheist, but man, you know, you stories like that, you start going, maybe there's a God looking out for people, but I don't know, but the other 22 a day, I don't know. Does it, it's just, whatever the reason, this person is still here today, thankfully. And I really have to appreciate his fiance who brought this to my attention. And it was it was filtered out on Facebook, so I didn't see it when she sent it a few weeks ago. Um, so I'm really, really hoping that this can get some attention and some traction. It's such a simple thing. If people could tweet it, if I think people can give it. He shouldn't even have legal fees. There should be no, ha, like, I'm happy for my taxes to go to veteran care. I am not happy for my taxes to go for paying for people who are even fucking citizens to be brought here in first class and have all of their social services paid for, at, you know, ad infinitum. But I'm very happy to pay for veterans and veteran care and their families. And it's just absolutely infuriating as a citizen to watch this and to think like, wow, we have no control over this anymore. Like, like this, this man and his family, they can use some help and the government's like, fuck you. But hey, by the way, they have plenty of money to bring in their little social justice bullshit. Infuriating. VA is understaffed. The people there are underpaid. You know, somebody said, well, let's not malign the VA. There's a lot of good workers. I'm sure there are. It's not their fault. They don't get the money. But we sure have plenty of money for other bullshit, don't we? Anyway. I appreciate all of you getting on at this time, at this random hour, um, to hang out with me for a couple minutes. And please, please tweet the link out because it's just, I can't even believe that this happened still. So, all right. Love you all. Be well. Talk to you soon. Bye.